Just look at this marvelously graceful athlete. The Olympian ideal, a godlike figure. It's hard to believe he's run a whole marathon. He looks more like he's just strolled down to the corner store. A magnificent individual achievement. Exactly, that's what it's all about. The triumph of the individual, got that? It's beyond teams, beyond countries. It's about winning! And remember, nobody likes a loser. Yes, Dad. Oh, good. He's back again. The Olympic Bunny. The master mascot of merch. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> the bunny's tickling one of the officials. <laughs> now, for heaven's sake, what have rabbits got to do with the Olympian ideal? It's supposed to be about men with finely tuned bodies, not pets. Wow, check it out. They've got the new Pepe Donati soccer shirt. He's the best in the whole Olympics. Good looking. If only all guys were like him. Handsome and athletic. Talking about me, huh? Ugh. You're right. You're about as far off from Peppa Donati as you can get. You're a couch potato. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm the strongest in the whole class. You mean weakest. You wouldn't stand a chance against us in any sport. Hi, losers. Want to play Olympics? Get lost, Dweeb Face. I'm the best at everything. You're the ones who wouldn't stand a chance. I'm a guy. Why don't you challenge them to an Olympic tournament instead of arguing about who's best? OK. Tomorrow morning, in the field behind Thomas's house. Ready, get set. OK, get ready to lose. This whole thing was your idea, stupid. We're losing! Uh... Trust me, this one you're going to win. all this then? We were having an Olympic competition. The boys were losing, so they cheated. Cheated? You should be ashamed of yourselves. When I was your age, we never cheated. I can tell you that. Of course, we were made of sterner stuff in those days. Look at ya! A bunch of flaccid milksops. Useless weaklings. A generation of losers! He's right. We are losers. We might as well just admit it. Speak for yourself. There's no way my porky parents are better at sports than I am. Come on, we've got a competition to think about. They're too good, you've got to get us out of this. Um, listen up everybody, the competition is over. It's time to make peace. You should be competing against your parents, not each other. What's the point in that? Well, if you win, they can buy you Pepe Donati shirts. Okay, but what if we lose? You can't lose. Your parents are way too old and tired to win. Welcome to the House of Food. Today we're going to show you how to prepare a delicious cream sauce with juicy bacon and fat slabs of pork. Mmm, sounds good. Now, Frank, what are you doing? I'm challenging you and all the other parents to a competition against us kids tomorrow morning behind Thomas's house. Well, uh, you know Daddy is very busy at work these days. Oh, come on! It'll be fun meeting up with everyone. Maybe we could even have a picnic. I'll go straight and phone Mimi's mother about it. That's it? We just race each other? Um, there's one more thing. If we win, you have to buy us Pepe Donati soccer shirts. Come here, you little rascal, and give your old man a big hug. Hug someone on another team? Never! Don't forget that you promised us each a Pepe Donati shirt if we win. 
got it. All right. But then you have to do something for us if we win. Now, let's see. How about cleaning out our garages? Mm-hmm. Our garage could really do with a good cleaning. It's a mess. It's a deal. There's one more thing. For the day's outstanding athlete, I sent away for a special limited edition Olympic outfit to be worn in a victory parade around the town. Who's ready? Come and get it. Ah, oh, come on. Don't worry, Frank. The more they eat, the easier for us. <laughs> well, come on then. What are you waiting for? Well, folks, the Olympic organizers have reached their decision. All events are canceled for the day due to heavy rainfall. Now back to the studio. Ah, Milksops, what kind of men are you? It's only a little rain. They're supposed to be sportsmen, athletes, titans. Where are my trainers? I've got to set an example. Somebody pass the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Don't people realize how unhealthy that is? What's going on here? A picnic? Am I the only one in the whole country with enough discipline for physical fitness? Well, you gotta eat properly if you're gonna be physically fit. We're having a real athletic competition here, you know. Parents against the kids. The parents against the kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Stop eating and prepare yourselves. It's time to fight. <laughs> You're a regular pit bull, ain't you? <sighs> we might as well give up. What do you mean, give up? Jerry's dad may be good, but he's on the worst team the world has ever seen. We'll still beat them. What are you, a beached whale? Out of the way! There! That's how it's done! Wimp! Go, Linda! Go, Linda! Go, Linda! Go, Linda! Go, Linda! But... Out of the way! You don't stand a chance with those skinny arms of yours. We can't afford any mistakes now. Hey! Watch what you're doing. Stop acting like a spoiled brat. Remember, this is supposed to be a team effort. Team? I'm not playing on any team. This is about individuals, personal achievement. One man against the world. To the victor, the spoils. Hey, he's ruining everything. If we lose, it'll be all your fault. Wait, I know something he can't do alone. Next event, the relay race. Ready? Get set. Ah, you don't stand a chance. Go! to hand the baton to the next one, and then... Hey! I can't afford to lose this. I'll take care of this myself. Go, 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 it's clearly stated in the rule book that you have to have the baton when you cross the finish line. That's all that counts. So, you ran the whole race by yourself. Isn't that against the rules? The important thing is that you're still holding the baton. So, I won. Again. We won, I guess. But I just, I just feel humiliated. Yeah. He's ruined everything. I thought this was going to be a nice family day out. How can we stop this maniac? There's no way I'm going to hand over my special limited edition Olympic outfit to that madman. But this isn't what I ordered. Perfect. To the victor, the spoils. Just so you know, since it was your dad who ruined everything, you have to clean out all the garages. On behalf of all the parents, I'd like to congratulate you on your spectacular individual performance here today. The children have suffered a crushing defeat, and as a token of our appreciation, we hereby present you with this unique Olympic outfit for your victory lap around the town. <laughs> 
I'm not wearing that. It's only fair that you should do the winner's lap of honor. Remember, one man <laughs> against the world. Oh. oh, I'm beat. Can I rest now? Nope. You're going to do Roy's next, and then you've got three more garages after that. It's your own fault, Jerry. Ooh, let's challenge our parents. Terrific idea. Hi, kids. It's time for the Olympic parade. <laughs> Everybody loves a winner, huh? Single. Yeah, this really bites. Well, hello there, you yokels. Check this out, the new Trainix catalog. <laughs> They've got all the training equipment you could ever think of. We could build our own gym for next to nothing. Get out of here. We're not interested in any of your dumb ideas. Exactly. Who cares about some stupid old mail-order gym? we got more important things to think about. The gyms are total babe magnets. W whenever you see gym owners, they're always surrounded by girls. Really? Yeah, good-looking ones. For nothing, you said? This stuff's way too expensive. No, look here. The secret box. For only $10, you get a random selection of five quality products from our assortment of health and fitness articles. That together will give you an effective all-around muscle training. Don't miss this offer. Frank's Fitness Center. The girls are gonna go wild. Now all we need is an adult to sign the order slip. My, what a nice surprise. And what can I do for you boys? We're gathering signatures for the annual Easter penance demonstration. A reminder of what Easter is all about. Sorry boys, self-punishment isn't my cup of tea. Ah, rats, why does everything fun need an adult signature? It's always like that. I know, we can pretend we're grown-ups and sign the slip ourselves. But they'll see by the signature that a kid signed it. They don't care. You better hope we get some girls out of this, Jerry. 47. Uh, uh, 48. Uh. 49! Ugh! 50! That was amazing, Tony. What did I tell you? Girls love guys with bodybuilding equipment. What's your problem? Haven't you seen a Hunkomatic 2000 before? The new all in one gym from Trainix. But I'm sure you've never heard of that. Sure, I have. You're talking to an awesome workout pro. Awesome workout pro? <laughs> you? So why don't you come over here and show us just how professional you are? Go ahead, you little dork. Show us some awesome stomach exercises. Um, uh, okay. Pull! My machine! My beautiful machine! Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. You stupid clud, you're gonna regret this. I should be safe here for a while. We saw you, Frank. Just wait till I tell my brother. He wants to beat you up so bad. Better stay in your hiding place, scaredy cat. <laughs> scaredy cat? Me? Never. I need some peace and quiet, that's all, so I can think. <laughs> well, I've got big plans, you know. Oh, yeah? Like what? You'll never guess. I'm setting up my own gym. My, my, isn't that marvelous? You being such an expert and all. <laughs> oh, Frank, just you wait till I get a hold of you. Oh, the 
secret box, finally. Congratulations! You are now the proud owner of a Trainix training kit. A fine assortment of fitness products of the highest quality. Your box contains a trendy plastic sports bag, a stamina developer, throw the ball as far as you can, then run and fetch it. Repeat 50 times. Arm developer, put on the gloves and walk up to a tree. Try to tip it over. Leg developer, lay the string on a flat surface. Jump over it with your feet together, back and forth for 10 minutes. And a sports suit in pure nylon, a fashionable garment that increases motivation and turns exercising into a real joy. Hmm. It might be ugly, but these things really cut down air resistance and stuff. We can't expect everything to be perfect in a secret box. No way! This is professional equipment. The, gr the girls are gonna love this. What? You call this a gym? A ball, a piece of string, a pair of gloves. This is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Don't you realize you've been had? What? Me? This is Jerry's gym. Mine opens tomorrow. The ultimate professional gym. Oh, yeah? With a boulder and a water hose or what? <laughs> you better start thinking, Jerry. I've got to show the girls a completely new gym and no dorky one this time. Everything's fine. Don't worry. We can open an aerobics gym instead. Aerobics? What's that? You sort of move to music with an aerobics trainer and stuff. It's the ultimate exercise fad. And girls love it. So, aerobics trainers are pretty popular, huh? Popular? Are you kidding? All we have to do is build some fake machines so it looks professional. Is that all? Maybe you should practice some good aerobics moves, too. Demonstration? Um, this is more for show. I, I mean, for very advanced training. Our specialty is, of course, aerobics. But can you show us how it works, please? Uh, it, it, it's pretty simple. You just pull this lever here. along a bit more. Trust me, I've got something in mind that's going to turn this into an even bigger fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Right leg! Left leg! Double spin! Right leg! Left leg! Right leg! Left leg! Wow, Frank, that, that was some workout. <laughs> I'm totally beat. Aren't you too? Oh, you bet. That was the best aerobics workout I've ever experienced. That's for sure. And we've got some really cute friends who are gonna love this. You're the best, Frank. Yes! Finally! Prepare yourself for a babe invasion, boy. They want babes? I'll give them babes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Is this what the aerobics class is? Oh! 
I knew there was something fishy about all this. Oh no! What are we gonna do with these dinosaurs? Awesome, Frank. Well, Frank, when are we gonna get started? We're raring to go. up in school. <laughs> hmm, my word. I guess they organized a self-punishment demonstration after all.